We've come away from the Royal Engineer's grave now and we're walking round to the beginning of the wooded area here on the crest of the Bellawada Ridge. And before we continue with our look at the war beneath the Western Front, the war underground, we come to a memorial, a new memorial, placed here in the lead up to the First World War centenary that commemorates the men of the 10th Battalion, the King's Liverpool Regiment, the Liverpool Scottish. The 10th Battalion of the King's Liverpool Regiment, the Liverpool Scottish, was formed as a territorial battalion before the Great War. It came across to France in November 1914 and its medical officer was Lieutenant Noel Chavas, the son of the Bishop of Liverpool, a medical student before the war and became the regimental medical officer, the RMO, in 1914 and accompanied the battalion to France and Flanders and during the attack here at Bellawada on the 16th of June 1915, he went out and recovered the wounded with his stretcher bearers under enemy fire for which he was awarded the Military Cross. Later on the Somme in 1916 he was awarded the Victoria Cross for the same kind of deed going right up close to the enemy trenches to recover the wounded and then in the opening stage of the third Battle of Ypres he went out and did the same thing knowing that the shell holes were filling up with water and that the wounded were drowned in them so he tirelessly sacrificed himself searching for the wounded until he was hit by shell fire and died of his wounds at a casualty clearing station behind the lines. For bravery in that opening stage of Third Eep he was awarded a bar to the Victoria Cross, one of only three men in the history of the Victoria Cross to be awarded it twice to get the VC and bar. Chavas was a brave medical officer and that bravery was displayed here at Bellawada in 1915. There's a photograph that I have that he took of his stretcher bearers before they went into action here at a village called Vormazila behind the lines and he then accompanied them into action here on the 16th of June 1915 in the attack on Bellawada Ridge for which he was awarded the military cross for his bravery in rescuing the wounded alongside those stretcher bearers. You can walk into the woods here, they were previously private land but a few years ago they were purchased by the city of Ypres and Flanders Tourism and opened up so that visitors could come into the woods and explore this incredible preserved landscape of the Great War, the mine craters that were formed here during that 1915 to 1917 period and we can see some of the craters just here. It's very difficult on camera to really record this but we can see there's a, a lip of a crater just here with a Royal Engineer's grave in the background and this whole landscape is dips and dives and what look like gouges out of the earth are in fact the mine craters from the Great War for more than a, a century ago and it gives us this unique insight really into what this troglodyte war beneath the Western Front were like and you know we can kind of get a glimpse and I don't doubt we'll really capture this on camera but this is a vast crater 50-60 metres across with a water filled section in the bottom there and this is typical of the mines that were blown here a few thousand pounds of explosive right up to tens of thousands of pounds in some cases on this and other parts of the Flanders landscape and this really became an area of overlapping mine craters where so many mines had gone off, really the battlefield revolved around those craters with the enemy occupying one lip on the far side of the crater and the British and Commonwealth forces occupying a lip on this side of the crater. So very close together in many cases once these tunnels were dug and once these mines were blown and once these craters were formed, this became no man's land. You could spend all day up here on the Bellawada Ridge between Railway Wood and Hoog exploring these mine craters from the Great War and using the trench maps and the air photos and the war diaries to piece together this war that was fought here beneath this part of the Western Front and come here into what is now a, a tranquil location which nature has recovered the birds sing in the trees above me but here what looks like a natural gully is in fact one of these mine craters in fact in this case it looks like two overlapping mine craters and it gives us an insight into that terrible 
underground war of more than a century ago. We're walking along the edge of the wooded area here on the Bellawada Ridge and we're seeing again the remains of these mine craters. They're, they're everywhere. Like I say, you could explore this site all day really. But it gives us this fascinating insight into the war underground, the war beneath the battlefield here in Flanders in World War I. But now we carry on and walk the path down to Hoog for our next episode of Walking Eep and more tales and stories of the Great War.